get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Obviously from your Friday FL TV in association with Macklin Jim Marbella, we're in the Meadowbank at Arena. Aye, stay down Marina or Sports Centre. It could be <laughs> a venue that cares for everything. Capital Punishment, Tommy Philbin, headlining the show. Dominant. How you feel? Aye, good. It was the um, last minute to change your opponent. I was meant to fight somebody else until... I was meant to fight somebody else over six rounds until yesterday. It was changed to four rounds and then this morning I got a phone call from Sam saying that he had pulled out with an upset stomach so they got somebody else in. He was a big guy, two wins, three losses, all of them knockouts. Um, and now I'm on YouTube and I spoke to Terry about it and Terry says, uh, just box him. It's because his knee, he's just got to come in winging. And he did, he caught me in the first round, caught me quite heavy, uh, right over the top. And I thought I didn't want to get caught with one of them again. <laughs> so I just jabbed, just boxed. It wasn't, uh, it was dominant, but it wasn't as exciting as I usually am. But I'm not in it to take punches. Mm -hmm. So I've got to protect myself and my family, so. Yep. And you were thinking, obviously, there was genuine threat there. If the boys won two fights and both of them have been by knockout, obviously carries a lot. I think both of them are in the first round, eh? oh, yeah. so it's a, it just comes out swinging. But um, I'm happy with it. It's just that I could hear people shouting, uh, "Come on, forward, forward!" It's not my usual display, but I'm trying to move into my boxing because when I go to six rounds, eight rounds, ten, twelve, I need box. I kind of go forward all the time because then that's all gas and I'll mm. get knocked out myself. How disruptive is it on? the day of the fight when you've had the latest switch of your opponents? Um, to be honest, it's really annoying. I, can I was I trained for a six rounder as I say and it got changed the day before for ten weeks. Uh, so it was a four rounder but it doesn't matter. I mm. suppose it happens to the boss. I had it all the times as amateur. Um, so it's fine. You were supposed to be on September 15th and was it a hand injury? Hand injury, aye. Is that healed now? Is that aye, it's healed. I had that in uh, I'd go on May the 7th when I fought Gargano and then uh, when I fought in June as well at a hurt again so I thought I just need to take some time I thought it would be alright but I just kept um, getting hurt in the gym but it's alright now That's good 6-0 oh, you couldn't ask for a much better start to the pro ranks could you? Uh, a couple of knockouts would be nice but I've not had any yet Knockouts are going to come? I can't, I don't know Over the longer rounds I box I had that guy a couple of times he's a big guy too but um, <sighs> boxing, eh? When you look back in the six fights is there one that sticks out, or even maybe two, you fought the same opponent twice, is there anything that, any when you look back, you think I learned the most for that fight? Uh, no. Mitch Mitchell, <laughs> Mitch Mitchell's second time, mm -hmm. that was my favourite, um, favourite performance, just, I was just dominant, I just hurt him all the time, and he's a strong, strong guy, put him down a couple of times, uh, and my boxing was just amazing, I was brilliant that night, so. <laughs> I'm happy. I could have done it. You should be your own, your own PR man. I can. I've done another four rounds. I could have done another four rounds that night. I was on form. So. Excellent. And um, is there any word we can expect to see you back out? I think it's December the 3rd. December the 3rd. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know what Sam's here is going to be a sixth rounder, but maybe it's see what they came out of me. Good stuff. So, bright future. What's the initial targets over the next 12 months? I wouldn't mind a Scottish title fight. Um, Scottish title is something that doesn't really, um, doesn't really seem to be flying about as much as it used to be, but there's a lot of fighters that want to ch uh, challenge for that title. No, I'm realistic, I'm not like, uh, I'm going to be world champion. Right now, obviously, I'm not I'm no doing that, but you never know what, ha what happens in the future. If you get guided right, you can, but I would like a Scottish title and then move on to, um, hopefully, if I'm good enough to the British, British would be nice, I'd love that belt, so that would be, that'd be good. I'm well, not just learning myself at the British right enough. Eh? You're not just limiting yourself to the British title? No, no, but I'm, I'm realistic. Not to say about the British, but at the same time, aspirations are aspirations. Do you dream big? Oh, I know, I know. Tommy, thanks yes. for joining us. It's quite no, late. thanks very much. I know it's late. You, I get here and Are you giving us a song? Or? Eh, one is the loneliest number that there'll ever be. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, we want people to watch you. <laughs> Tommy, cheers. <laughs>